Hello my beautiful spirits, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot and this is a Cancerian update reading for love. So let's look at the overall energy and the messages from Spirit Cancer. Great and full, you have a very abundant life. There's a lot of love and of course you are a Cancerian. You always create love, you bring love. You just have a very, very full heart, and you do have a lot of gratitude. The storyteller, interesting. There's something that's going on in your love life right now that makes you feel as though someone may be telling you tall tales or something inspirational. It's going to be hard to tell until we clarify the reading. You are in uncharted sea right now, Cancer. So you and the person with whom you are really emotionally tied to, um, you specifically have been going through a period of healing, enlightenment, self-care. This Aquarius energy is very beautiful. It's very significant because it's allowing yourself to use your intellect to heal yourself. It's a card of beauty, inner beauty, inner strength. You hold your ideals very dear. You're not going to give up on anything. The star card is literally hopes and dreams for love coming true. So as an overall energy, it is a fantastic energy. As the opening reading here, the opening cards are the Ace of Wands, fiery, fire in your belly for an ending. You look as though something has taken place in your life and you just are coming into this reading tired of the burden, willing to release whatever it is that you need to release. You've done, you know, you've really looked for enlightenment, you've studied, you've looked at the internet, you've been reading. Um, this is a Page of Swords energy, it's Gemini energy, so you have applied a lot of basic skills to figuring out what you're, you know, what's happening with you. I love the fact that you have fire in your belly. Look at you are going, you know what? I have a relationship that did not work out that I had fire in my belly for and I'm I'm letting it go. I am now of the mindset and I'm channeling your energy cancer. I am now ready. I want to come home and say, "Honey, I'm home." I want somebody waiting for me when I get home. You are very, very bent right now on moving forward rapidly in your life. And if you look at these two cards, look at the sun, the burst of sun, the burst of sun. You know what you want. You're going to go after it and you're not going to let anything or anybody stop you. And I'm really speaking in a metaphorical way here, that you are going for the gold, you are going for the grateful heart, you want a new story in love, and you're willing to take the risks to enter uncharted territory. In the near future, you do have someone who comes in and makes a small offer of love, uh, you could be offering this to someone else, but this energy is Pisces energy. It's not your energy. And it's like when pigs fly. So what I see you doing is entertaining this energy for a little bit of time. Um, but it's not really what you want. You know, you feel like, hey, easy come, easy go. The wheel of fortune. You're not going to take anything too seriously. You appear to walk away from someone who really has not been kind to you. And I believe it's somebody who told you a lot of stories. You know, stories can be lies, they can be the truth, but you you really have walked away, you are walking away, and it could be just releasing from some somebody from the past with whom you've already had a breakup. You have a deep desire. You have a lot to say to someone. I think that if you're anything like me, you have these sort of conversations in your head going on because it's Gemini energy uh, about the ways that they didn't treat you very nicely. And so when we look at this reading, we look at you in a space of being determined to find happiness, exquisite. You're definitely healing. You're definitely transforming your life. 
you're definitely letting go of that which does not serve you. And you have good fortune on your side right now, Cancer. So let's jump into the reading and see what this energy is about. Let's clarify the cards here. Why is the Ace of Wands here for our beautiful Cancer friends? What is it? What do they feel so fired up about with this Death card? Spirit of Wands. Okay. So you may have been dealing with a Leo energy, but you are also embodying the energy of excitement, the energy of wanting a new beginning, the energy of being throwing caution to the winds and going out into the romantic world and seeking your fortunes. The death card is Scorpio energy, something that ended that was very painful for you, that you are feeling you must leave behind now is coming in you want romance that's pisces energy uh the hermit card it does look like somebody goes to you um the energy at this time is that you have used your intellect you've really the king of swords energy is all about finding solutions detaching your emotions but you have new love coming in by releasing something that did not serve you you now have opened the door for this big cup of love and when we look at this energy you will be great and full um, as you embrace this these uncharted waters so why do we have you packing it in ten of wands you know there's a sense of that's it I can't take it anymore you know I just played uh, I will survive on the Aquarius video and there is that feeling you're super strong, Cancer. Nobody can unravel you. We have the Ace of Coins. You are setting about to find an opportunity in your life that's worthy of you. We get the Heart of Pentacles. That is the Queen of Pentacles. Mommy energy. Very good energy for you. That is Capricorn energy, your seventh house. You will, by letting this go, you may have a Capricorn enter your life but somebody who is very steady and stable and nurturing, making a big offer. An ace of coins and an ace of cups? That would make anybody grateful. <laughs> so your, your fortunes are changing here, and you've done the work. What do we have? Why do we have the Page of Swords in the past? What were you trying to research and figure out? Okay, so for some of you, you are looking at the possibility of an old love and what they were up to. Did they get married? Did they do what they said they were going to do? And what is the truth of that? The justice card. Okay, so for some of you, it could be true. But for others of you, you will find balance and harmony in your ability to pass judgment on the way this person treated you and release them to receive whatever karma they actually deserve. Three of Wands. Okay. So it does appear for some of you uh, that your person went off in another direction and that you're coming to peace with that. You may have done, you know, Truth Finder or something like that to help you investigate with this Page of Swords. But we see you at peace in this good judgment energy. You're going to let them have whatever karma they deserve for whatever stories they told, good or bad. Why is the star card here for your overall energy? The Eight of Swords. So you are feeling vindicated. You're feeling good about yourself. You have not yet take action, taken action. The Eight of Swords is self-imposed restriction till the time is right. But the time is right in the near future. So we're seeing your energetic um, bump up. Oh, look at that. You are becoming the Empress. You are traversing the emotional depths, and you are finding love, happiness, but you have found your inner empress, and you are moving forward rapidly. When we look at the page, you will make a decision uh, in the near future about a crush that somebody has on you. It is a slow-moving night. You may entertain their energy or attention for a while as you continue to heal and find your pace and your space. We see you having some fun, allowing yourself to just enjoy yourself without any thought of the future. 
The Eight of Cups is the energy of walking away again, very Piscean energy, walking, leaving this eight, eight of Cups behind to find your Ten of Cups. And we have you doing very well, single, ready to mingle, looking good, smelling good, having a beautiful home, finding yourself as being a highly desired person in the dating world. What do we have for the Knight of Swords energy, Three of Swords? Your biggest fear is that something that someone told you about a third party could be true. You are having a hard time facing it. You're trying to ignore it. Two hearts beat as one, Ten of Cups. So here's what you have. So by ignoring this energy, you open the door. When you let something go, you open the door for something better. So we said eight of eight of cups going to the ten of cups. By you are not going to answer this person. They will try to come back because the eight of cups is is a card that often quote unquote returns home from the journey, only to find that nobody's there, nobody's home. You're in ten of cups energy, two of cups energy, soulmate energy, happily ever after. The empress charging ahead. Star card, you have so many major arcanas here, but you are in a transformation that I think that you probably resisted at first. That, you know, whoever it is that wronged you and put you in some sort of heartbreak, I feel as though this person is, you know, they've moved forward and you're now at peace with the situation. You are now in uncharted territory. Let's see what that the meaning of the uncharted territory. Please, Spirit, tell us that. Let's see what we have here for you. The Nine of Cups. Eat, drink, be merry, have fun. Cancer, you know, I have four planets in Cancer, and we tend to be really serious about love because home is where the heart is. But what I see is the uncharted territory is for you to be able to kick up your heels, have some fun, you know, not take life seriously. We get you having a victory. You are being found to be a highly desirable person in the in the world of dating, and you begin to feel a real, really strong feeling of happiness, enjoyment, ready to plant a new seed, ready to embrace a new offer. But you have one coming in. In fact, it's under your nose. I think many of you are ignoring somebody who loves you. I feel as though that's your first reaction. You know, there's that part of you that was resistant to leaving this person behind. But as you do, you open life up. This person told you, the person that hurt you, told you a lot of lies. There's a lot of lies and deception. The five of coins as they left you out in the cold. Uh, it looks like it happened very abruptly. It looks as though the lie they told you it was that they had someone else. That uh, they were getting married with the justice card. But let's see the truth of the matter. Let's see what it is. Let's see the Twin Flame card. Okay. So, Cancer, what we see here, and I'm going to, is this Twin Flame you? Or is this is a number 22, 11, 11. So, is this person your Twin Flame? Or do, are they the Twin Flame of another? They're your twin flame. So that's not actually very unusual for twin flames, you know, relationships. Tell us more about the twin flame relationship that will make cancer feel grateful. What will be true about this ending? The seven of wands. Ooh, you stand your ground, cancer. You absolutely stand firmly on your ground. You absolutely know what the truth is. This person does return. They do return. That is part of what you're waiting for and hoping for. But I did not see that. Earlier in the reading, I really thought that this was going to be over. But the temperance is reconciliation. The Ace of Wands, you go full circle. But older, wiser, healed, not willing to put up with anything that doesn't serve you, willing to kick anybody to the curb that really, you know, tells you tall tales, that you're really standing in your power right now, Cancer. And when you open your eyes, you're going to find that love that you want. 
So sending you love from Chicago. Since I'm back, tell me where you're from. I'm so excited about this for you. We also have horoscopes for December coming up later this month. Stay tuned. And I hope to see you in, again in another video. Thank you. Bye-bye, Cancer.